Hello learners, welcome to our YouTube channel. Myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and I will be guiding you all today through this session 2 of aptitude training. In the previous session, we had solved four questions on quantitative aptitude. Do go through that video if you have missed it. And in today's session, we will be going through four questions of logical reasoning. So let's begin. This is the first question for today, which is based on blood relations. And this question says that, pointing to a girl in the photograph, Ajay said, her mother's brother is the only son of my mother's father. Then how is the girl's mother related to Ajay? Okay, so we have given information of certain relations in this sentence. We just need to find out that how is this girl's mother related to Ajay? So. For solving this type of questions, we draw a family tree wherein we uh, plot these relationships and then finally understand the relationship that we need to find out. So let's begin by drawing the family tree. First, we will be starting with this girl because Ajay is pointing towards her. So first, let's start by drawing this girl. Okay, this is the girl. Okay, and now next, it is said that her mother's brother. So first we need to draw her mother. We will break the sentence into small parts and then draw those parts uh, in this graph. So girl's mother, we will draw her mother. Mother. Next we have her mother's brother. So we need to draw her mother's brother. Keep in mind while drawing such graphs, you need to keep the people of the same generation on the same level, okay, in the graph. So uh, keep her mother's brother on the same level as we have drawn the mother. By doing this, you will not get confused in the relations. This is her mother's brother. Next we have, her mother's brother is the only son of my mother's father. So this brother is someone's son. So point in the upward direction because obviously his father will be one generation above this person or the mother's brother. Is the only son of my mother's father. So here my mother's father is nothing but Ajay's mother's father because he is describing this sentence. So here the pronoun my is nothing but Ajay. So first let's draw Ajay and his mother. So this is Ajay. And Ajay's mother will be one generation above Ajay. This is Ajay's mother. We've come up till Ajay's mother, Ajay's mother's father. So now let's draw uh, Ajay's mother's father as well. Ajay's mother's father will also be one generation above. And what it has been said is this girl's mother's brother is the only son of my mother's father. Okay, so which means this girl's mother's brother is the only son of my mother's father. So, if we get to see then, this, uh, the father is common between all these three. Which means this mother, brother and Ajay's mother. All three are this father's children and all three are siblings to each other. Okay, so these three are nothing but each other's siblings. Which means this girl's mother and Ajay's mother both are real sisters. And by this relation, this girl's mother is Ajay's aunt. This is the answer that our question is asking that 
who is the girl's mother to Ajay. So we found out that this girl's mother is Ajay's aunt. Okay. So our answer is option uh, C, which is aunt. In these type of questions, you really need to be clear about the relationships and uh, how to plot those relationships in the form of a tree. Don't get confused at all. Read the sentence slowly and break down the relations to understand that who is related to another person in what manner. By doing this, you will uh, easily get the answer. Okay. So now let's move on with the second question. In this question, we have been given a statement and two courses of actions that we will need to follow when this statement has occurred. So let's see what first the statement is. The statement says that a large number of people in Ward X of the city are diagnosed to be suffering from fatal type of malaria, which means a particular Ward X of a particular city. In that ward, a huge number of people are suffering from malaria. So if this particular situation occurs uh, in real time, then what would be our courses of action? Two courses of action are given. First one is the city municipal authority should take immediate steps to carry out extensive fumigation in Ward X. And the second is the people in the area should be advised to take steps to avoid mosquito bites. So these are the four options which first one says only one follows which means only fumigation is carried out. B is only second follows which means people are only are taking steps to avoid mosquito bites and city municipal corporation is doing nothing. Then the C option is either one or two follows, which means one of them follows, but not both. And the fourth option is both one and two follow, which means city municipal authority is doing their fumigation and the people are also taking steps to avoid mosquito bites. So, in such situation, which is given in the question, it is an urgent situation. Okay, And in such type of urgent situations, uh, extensive amount of uh, prevention and also uh, precaution is uh, needed okay? so that uh, people are safe, lives are safe. So in this case also, both one and two will follow because it is the responsibility of both city municipal authority as well as of the people to control this uh, malaria, this fatal malaria in their ward. Okay, so both one and two will follow in which city municipal authority will carry out fumigation and the people will also take care of their families and take steps to avoid the mosquito bites. So the answer is option D. Next question, which is the question number three, is based on encoding decoding, which says, in a certain code, missions is written as M-S-I-I-S-N-O-S. -I -I -S -S. So in the same code, how is online written? So in this question, first we need to understand that what is the pattern that is followed to encode this word missions and by applying that similar pattern to online, what is the answer that we get? Yeah, so that we can just uh, understand its uh, pattern of encoding. Uh, this is the word. The word is missions. Yes, the word is missions and the encoded form is M-I-M-S-I-I-S-N-O-S. -S -I -I Let's write down that also. M-S-I-I-S-N-O-S. -I -I okay, so if you observe it clearly, then both of this last Two, word, two letters, the first one and the last one, are just equal, okay? They are just equal, M and S. And the other two, uh, the, uh, two, two letters, okay, see, I, S is written as S, I. Next, S, I is written as I, S. And then O, M is written as N, O. I, S is written as S, I. S, I is written as I, S. OM is written as NO. So by understanding this pattern, we can write our word online in this similar form as well. Let's write the word online in this form. So this is the word online. And how its uh, encoded form will be, what we need to do is keep the first and the last letter same. So O and E will be the same. And 
the middle two letters have the middle letters have to be divided into two two parts so the first two part is nl and nl should be reversed so it will be nn and similarly in should be reversed it will be ni so this is our encoded word which is our answer let's check if this is there in the option o l n n i e so yes o l n n i e which is the option a is our answer now let's move on to the next question find the missing numbers from this sequence and the last number has to be found out the sequence is 2 6 12 20 30 42 and 56 So let's just copy down the sequence over here. The sequence is this: two, six. Next, we have twelve, twenty, thirty, twelve, twenty, thirty, and then forty-two, fifty-six, forty-two, and fifty-six. So, if we just understand the sequence and observe it properly, what we see is two. Two. The difference between six minus two is nothing but four. Similarly, the difference minus the difference between twelve and six is six. Then twenty minus twelve is eight. Thirty minus twenty is ten. Forty-two minus thirty is twelve. And then fifty-six minus forty-two is nothing but fourteen. So if we observe that these numbers are nothing but the multiples of two, like two twos are four, two threes are six, two fours are eight, two fives are ten, two sixes are twelve, and two sevens are fourteen. So by considering these multiples, our next number should be sixteen. So we just need to add fifty-six plus sixteen, which is nothing but seventy-two. So this will be the sequence, and the answer will be seventy-two. Seventy-two is the answer, which is the option C. So in such problems, you just need to properly understand the sequence. You can, in some cases, you can observe two types of patterns in a single uh, sequence of numbers. So what you need to do is try both the patterns. Whatever answer you're getting, find if the answer is there in all of these four options. If the answer is there, then you need to. Uh, pick out that sequence and that answer. And if both the answers are present in this options, then you just need to think that which would be the most specific sequence which gives you a proper logical connection. On the amount of logical connection that you get, you need to select the sequence and the answer. Okay, so I've explained all the four questions. Uh, do practice it on a on your own so that you get a clear idea of the questions and the. how the answers are derived how logic is applied in each case and in the first question specifically you may get a lot of you may get a lot confused so just properly understand the relation relations just uh, relate these relations in the question with your real life or your family relations and try to understand the relations between the given entities in this type of questions also just uh, observe both the words properly and you will Uh, get the encoding sequence uh, just when you observe it properly and this find missing numbers also pick out the most accurate sequence that you think logically okay so let, now we'll uh, meet in the next session which will be on verbal reasoning so subscribe the channel and follow this playlist for more uh, videos on aptitude training do like this video and share it with your friends thank you